And remember, Maximulcho Bark Mulch will stop those weeds dead in their tracks. See you next week on Gardens Galore. If Julian Acorn recommends Maximulcho, it'll be just what I need to get my garden in shape for Beano Town in bloom. We're off to the garden centre to get some. All right, dear, see you later. Oh, don't forget Nasha's bath. No problem, just leave it to me. And now the cup semi-final between Beano Town Wanderers and Drain. Oh, hello, Colonel. What ho? Seems friendly, but don't be fooled. When it comes to Beano Town in bloom, she's the enemy. Now, by the left, quick. Dennis! Mum says Nasha needs a bath. Oh, Dad, do I have to do it? Oh, you know he always goes berserk. Sorry, Dennis, I'm really busy. I'll have to leave it to you. Nasha, you know sometimes we have to do stuff we don't like? I mean... I have to do me homework and tidy me room and eat sprouts and stuff. <coughs> and sometimes you have to do stuff you don't like, like going to the vet. <coughs> and having flea treatment. <coughs> and having a bath. <coughs> Trouble. I should think you are. Not so much Beano Town in bloom, more bomb size on a bad day. <laughs> what are you talking about, Walter? Beano Town in bloom, the garden contest. Your mother was my main rival, but I'm sure to win now, thanks to you. <laughs> right, Nasha, that's it. We can't let Mum get beaten by Walter. Somehow, we've got to get this garden fixed up again. <laughs> Curly, call Pieface and get over here. I've got a gardening emergency. <laughs> what? Uh, what's with the horse? He's looking after it for his cousin. But ever since he's got it, he's been acting weird. What? Weirder than usual? He won't answer you unless you call him the Pie Crust Kid. OK, OK, fair enough. So, Pie Crust Kid, what's with the horse? This here's my Palomino, Sylvia. Pie Horse, Sylvia! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that all about? She does it every time I say, Hi, ho, Sylvia. <laughs> well, stop saying it then. It's not good, is it? Not good at all, Curly. I darn toot and don't see how. <gasps> uh, what I mean is, we'll never get it back to how it was. No kidding, Pie Face. Hang on, he's on to something. We can't fix it, so maybe we should try something totally different. You mean like bigger? Better? More spectacular? That's the plan. Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Beano Town Towers? A stately home garden. Exactly. We'll make one just like it. Except smaller. Garden. Stately? <laughs> In a state more like. <laughs> it just needs an extra something. <laughs> and I know just the something it needs. 
A pinch of down home prairie fertilizer. Manu, my dad says you can't beat it. Hmm. Well, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to the garden? Dennis! What have you done? The garden's your mother's pride and joy. I know, Dad. Sorry. I was trying to give Nasha a bath, like you said, and it all got out of hand. I should have bathed him myself. This is all my fault. Don't worry, Dad. We'll think of something. There's no time, Dennis. We'll just have to face the music. You two can go home. No sense in us all getting into trouble. OK. See you, then. Right. Best be off, then. See ya. You're bound to win Beano Town in Bloom, Walter. Your garden looks super. Well, it's going to look even better this afternoon because it's getting a makeover from Julian Acorn, the man from Gardens Galore. Golly, does your dad know him? No, my uncle does. Once he's added the finishing touch, my garden will be sure to win the grand prize. Ha! Here, that's not fair. Best tell Dan. Hi. I mean, come on, Sylvia. So, Walter's getting Julian Acorn in. Because his uncle knows him. And, and it's cheating, isn't it? Hang on. Did you say Walter's uncle knows him, not his dad? Yeah? Get into many small boys. I can feel a plan coming on. As soon as Nasha sees the TV van, he signals to Curly, OK? Then Curly signals to you and you alert me, right? Got yeah. It. Right, get into position. Ooh. It's on his way, pie face. Under control. Right. Ready, Dad? Remember, you're supposed to be Walter's dad. No problem. Delighted to meet you, Mr. Acorn. Hi, I'm Julian Acorn. Uh, you must be Walter. Yes. How do you do, Mr. Acorn? And you must be Walter's dad. Indubitably. Delighted to meet you, Mr. Acorn. We're big fans, are we not, De uh, Walter? Oh, yes. Double indubitably. Gardens Galore is my very favourite programme. Great. Well, then, uh, let's take a look at your garden. Hmm, it's a tricky one, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Hello, anybody home? Out here, dear. Ta -da! <gasps> My garden! It looks fantastic! Yes, thanks to Mr. Acorn here. Mwah, mwah. Delighted to meet you, dear lady. Oh, oh, Mr. Acorn. Oh, thank you so much. But how... I mean, why did you pick my garden for a makeover? Well, apparently it was all the idea of your little lad Walter here. His uncle called me. But my son's not called Walt. Oh, Dennis! So, who won Beano Town in Bloom, then? The Colonel. The judges said he had a very disciplined approach. Your mum would have won if she'd gone in for it, though. Yeah, but you know mum. As the garden had a professional makeover, she thought it'd be cheating if she entered. At least Walter didn't win. Not very likely, Pie Face, seeing as you totally lost control of Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> Just one thing left to do. What's that, Dan? Nasha's bath.
would have thought it. Allergic to his own pet. We'll get Nasha back from Beano Town Kennels just as soon as we find a cure for your allergy to dogs, Dennis. OK, Dad. How about we have a pizza for a snack? You can have it in your room if you like. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! Brilliant! Oh, it's Dennis! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Watch it, pie face! Sorry. Falling, falling. Right, men, we know why we're here. Yes, sir! Dennis, sir! Yes, uh, no, uh, what's happening, sir? I'll recap. And this time, pay attention at the back. So, Nasha was taking Nipper, his beloved pup, for a walk in the park. In an obvious case of mistaken identity, Nipper was accused of stealing sausages and hauled off to Beano Town Kennels. Nasha was devastated. Of course he was. We've got to get Nipper back. I'm ahead of you, Curly. Plan A is already in full swing. Gentlemen, I give you Operation Breakout. Mum and Dad think I'm allergic to dogs, so... Nasha has been taken to Beano Town Kennels, which is obviously a really horrible place. Somewhere inside is poor, half-starved Nipper. Nasha will find him, of course. He'll probably go crazy when he sees how Nipper's suffering. Then, first chance he gets, he'll break out of there and bring Nipper back to us. Meanwhile, we wait for Dad to bring us treats. Incoming pizza! You better get back to your sick bed. Right. <laughs> huh? oh. Here we are, son. All right. I, I mean. Thanks, Dad. There! I mean, uh, oh, uh, your rash seems to be getting worse. <coughs> oh, must be the uh, all the dog hairs in here. You better give this place a, a bit of a clean up. <laughs> This is weird. It's been ages since they took Nasha. I'd have thought he'd be back with Nipper by now. Oh, Dennis. What is it, Pie Face? Have you got an idea? Yeah. Could you get your dad to bring you a pie next time? Poor Dennis. He's really missing Nasha. He's not the only one. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss my slippers being half chewed. They're more comfy that way. And with no dog to beware of, it seems like the whole of Beano Town is coming to our door. Nasha does do a good job of keeping people away. Without him, I can't get a moment's peace. It must be tough in that kennel if Nasha hasn't broken out yet. His teeth can gnash through anything. <sighs> oh. I miss my dog. For the hundredth time, I do not need a musical toilet brush, nor do I need a Mexican poncho, a garden gnome for all seasons, or a patio thermometer. Oh, I miss that dog. Nasha must be trapped in the kennel, and it's all my fault. I have to get him out. But how? <sighs> it's time for Plan B. Etc. Et Oi, you nasty little brute! Give me back my sausages! Oh, easy, mate! Help! Help! This dog tried to steal my sausages! Naughty dog! Naughty, naughty dog! Oh, oh my face! All right, dog. Let's be having you, you little. 
troublemaker. What? What the? Oh. Ha! Ro! Ro! Here I am, in the van. Wolf! Wolf! Best place for you, naughty sausage thief! <laughs> right, who did that? It was a naughty boy! A very naughty boy! Oh, it was, was it? Well, at least we've got the naughty dog. Gave himself up without a fight, I see. Obviously feeling guilty. Woof, woof. I should think so too. Right, it's the kennels for you, my lad. Everything. I ground them into myself. <laughs> Something tells me Nasher has had enough. Dennis, Dennis, are you okay? Dennis, where? Where's it? dog and nip is his pup. And they're both coming home with me. Oh, really? I think they like it here. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, Nasha. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Here's a plate of your favourite num-nums. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely saucy wassages. <laughs> and when you've eaten your num nums, Ooh. you can put on your special cozy wozies. <laughs> That's me, dog. <laughs> My precious needlework <laughs> ruined. I'm grateful, mongrel. <laughs> I'll choose a new favourite doggy. <laughs> Pretended to be allergic to dogs, did you? Get your own dog hauled off to the kennels, would you? Just to get us to wait on your hand and foot, eh? Well, now it's your turn. <laughs> Hope it's nice and strong. Oh, and don't forget that special treat for the boys. Poor old Nasha, sent away to the kennels for no good reason. Here's some lovely sausages for you. <laughs> Help yourselves to those, eh, Nasha? And you, Nipper. <laughs> Go on, have as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, get off, Nasha! It's Saturday! 
do you want, Curly? It's Saturday. Yeah, and guess what? The fair's in town. The fair? Give me five minutes. Choo-choo, <laughs> here comes the train bee. <laughs> Good girl, Bing. <laughs> Dennis, that's disgusting. Now, Sit down and eat properly. No time, Mum. I I'm meeting Curly and Pie Face at the fair. Oh, no, you're not. I need you to look after Bee while I'm at my relaxation class. Oh, Mum, can't you take her with you? Well, that wouldn't be very relaxing, would it? Yeah, it'd be fine. Bee could chill out too, couldn't you, Bee? <laughs> See? She said yes. No more argument, Dennis. It won't hurt you to look after your little sister for a couple of hours. But, Mum, I want to go to the fair. Well, you'll just have to take her with you. <laughs> what are we doing first, Dennis? Coconut shy. Remember all the great stuff we won last year? <laughs> Balls of foam rubber. Oh, yes, uh, new regulations, see? We can't have kids like you winning everything. Uh, I mean, injuring yourselves. <laughs> Never mind the coconuts. Let's have a go on the dodgems. Yeah, maybe we can beat the speed record we set up last year. <laughs> Never mind fun. You just keep to the speed limit. We could have walked faster than those dodgems. Don't worry, Pie Face. There are plenty more rides. We'll have a go on the big swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, son. Health and safety, in it. More than me job's worth. Oh, I've had more fun in one of Mrs Creature's detentions. Yeah, it's almost like they don't want us to have a good time. Don't panic, boys. There's got to be something worth having a go on. <gasps> Bouncy Castle! Bouncy Castle! Hey, well spotted, B. We'll be all right now, boys. We always have a good time on the bouncy castle. <laughs> but, Dan, what if it's not as good as last year? Yeah, what if it's a totally non-bouncy castle? Nah, you can't mess around with a bouncy castle. It'll be great. Come on! All right, you lot. Hold it right there. What's up? We only want to go on the castle. No chance. I remember you from last year. Cause chaos, you did. Come on, mister. We're only having fun. Yeah, well, there'll be no more of your kind of fun round here. I've changed the rules. Now the bouncy castle is only for children under the age of four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, you can have yeah. a go, then. As long as they don't have a brother called Dennis. You can't do that! <laughs> oh, yes, I can. My castle, my rules. One go and Bouncy Castle! Sorry, B. You heard what the man said. Go on, Bouncy Castle. Puppy do a poo! <laughs> hey, B, look. He's not my voice. 
difficult. It, you just can't! Hey, Charlie, fancy a cup of coffee? I don't mind if I do. Or maybe you can. have been helium, like you put in balloons. Well, serves him right. He should have let you have a go, shouldn't he, Bee? Bee? Yeah. Where is she? Uh, Dennis, you're not going to like this. What? What aren't I going to like? Bee? <laughs> flying! Ah! I know, Den. We could call in the Air Force. Send up a team of budgies? <laughs> no! I'll go up in a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Or we could send up the human cannonball. That's the daftest idea yet, Pie Face. It's miles too high. You couldn't shoot a person up there. You'd need something loads lighter, like... Like... <coughs> like a dog. <coughs> Go on, Nash. You can do it. <coughs> Go on, boy. For B. another class for next week, so I might want you to look after Bee again. That's all right, Mum. Bee's no trouble. Are you, Bee? Good girl. <laughs> Lovely, Dennis. Here, you and your friends go and enjoy <gasps> yourselves. Wow! Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <sighs> uh, uh, I'll take that. This little menace has ruined my lovely bouncy castle. Oh, Dennis! I'm telling you, it's the answer to all our treehouse security problems. Forget the stink bomb minefield, forget the laser guided jelly flinger. This is the simple, practical solution. Okay, so where exactly do we get a shark for this shark infested moat? Yeah, 
All the sharks I ever seen have been in pies. <laughs> Relax, boys. We don't need a real shark. Just this. The XJ3000 Remote Controlled Robo Security Shark. Scary or what? <gasps> Not half as scary as the price. Not a problem. It's me birthday next week. All me relatives can chip in and get me it, right? <laughs> Security shark, eh? Nice. I'll ring all the relatives, get them over here and let them know. Great! Half an hour and the house will be swarming with rich and generous aunties and uncles. So what do you say? Does our boy get the birthday goods or what? Got to say, Nasha, I was hoping for a better turnout than this. Where's the other 19? Come on. One little security shark. Not much to ask for, is it, Auntie Beryl? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, but year after year, we give that lad presents and not once has he ever said thank you. Well, he's got a busy schedule, hasn't he? Whoopee cushions don't inflate themselves, you know. <laughs> no, Dennis needs to be taught a lesson. So this year, for his birthday, we've all decided to get him nothing. Couldn't you just say thanks now? That wouldn't cut it. I need to make a big impression, and fast. What about writing a load of belated thank you letters? Mmm, letters. Yeah! <laughs> They'd never expect that. It's a lot of letters, though. 23 relatives times nine years times two again for Christmas and birthdays equals... Equals writer's cramp. As soon as the old relations get these, Dennis will be their favourite is lovable lad again. Hello, Beano Town Police Station. Oh, 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 yes. oh, oh, right away, ma'am. Hello, Beano. Hey, what are you doing with those? Well, you did right not to open them, ma'am. Letters from Dennis. Who knows what's in them? Stink bombs, itching powder, live beetles. What? No! Don't worry, they'll be safely destroyed, along with the rest. But Auntie Beryl, they were just... <laughs> Oh, Dennis, I've got to get hold of those letters and show everyone the truth. OK, Nasha, looks like we'll have to think of some other way to say thank you. Relatives use this road, see? One big thank you sign here, and everybody likes Dennis again. Um, Dennis, your Auntie Beryl, does she ride a bike? Mm, yeah, why? <laughs> um, oh, hello, Auntie. <laughs> uh, you all right up there, Auntie Beryl? <laughs> Present I ever gave him. Taking them all back, I am. Back, I say. <laughs> all personnel clear blast zone. Uh, uh, explosion in T minus 10 seconds. <laughs> I've never done a controlled explosion before, Sarge. Hang on. You're the officer in charge. Shouldn't you be doing the big red plunder thingy? Eh? Um, oh. Yes, oh, I suppose I should. Ah, but didn't he say you could do the big red plunger thingy? Yes, he did. First fair, Sarge. Oi! Give us that back. No, you promised. Constable Cough Drop, step away from the big red plunger thingy. Skywriting? Toy plane plus joke smoke canister for Mr. Ha Ha's equals a great big thank you in the sky. That's got to impress him. <laughs> I've had as much experience with big red plunger thingies as you. Oh, 
I'm the senior officer, and that's that. Five, four. Okay, here goes. One. What? All right. Why on earth have you called us all back here? It's about these. Oh! Have you taken leave of your senses? Those letters will be booby trapped. Rubbish. They're just thank you letters. Look, I'll open one. <laughs> <laughs> I told you they'd be booby trapped. So, what's that meant to say then? Blumagusluganag? I don't guess it. I'm the one that's going to get it in about five minutes. Dennis! Make that three. Ideas, boys! And quick! How else could you write thank you in big gigantic letters no one can miss? Blimey! Better go see what's up. Look after my white line painting machine for me, would you, lads? One huge thank you right across that hillside. That ought to... Dennis! OK, lads, you're on your own. Don't let me down. Think Mum would like a little word. Uh, smoke? There's been smoke, has there? Yes, there's been smoke from your booby-trapped letters. What? No! They would! So now we're taking everything back. And we mean everything. Great. All I wanted to do was say thanks. Do they really think I'm that horrible? Me, Dennis, the little lad. Chin up, Dennis. Grand's here. <laughs> last letter wasn't booby-trapped. There was a smoke canister on this, um, which we know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> oh. I am not opening that letter. Mm, you may cabbage. Open the letter, or I lock the doors and give B the cabbage. Why didn't you just say they were thank you letters? <laughs> oh, I always said he was a good boy. Maybe now we can discuss what you'd like for your birthday. Yes! Result! Just as long as nothing else gets destroyed or defaced. Oops. Here goes then! <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry! Oh, aunties! Oh, thank you! You're right, mate. Forget the white line thing! I... Oh. <laughs> Where's the steering wheel? Where's the brakes? Where's my mum? Oh. Oh. I say, is this the way to the town hall? Hmm, that could have gone better. Five miles of paint to clean and no birthday what? presents. Think again, Dennis. Guess what super brilliant Gran went and got you? That shark you wanted! Got it from this bloke down at the pub, see? Anyway, I had to stick the thing in the bath. Good idea. Check it all works. Nice relaxing bath. That's what I need after a day like today. Well, it won't be long. So, have you got the shark's remote control there, Gran? Eh? Since when did a shark need a remote control? Um, Gran, you do know it's not a real shark I wanted. Eh? Oh! Ah, is! Oh, my word! <laughs> OK, Nasha, prepare to meet. The Fleaminator! Are you sure this will work? Of course. Like the catalogue says, it's anti-flea science in a high-tech appliance.
Just a touch more power to pick up the stragglers. Is that supposed to happen? Not according to the manual. I'm sorry, but that dog will have to stay out of my lovely clean house until his fleas have gone. For good! Oh, don't worry, Nasha. Dad'll find a way. Enough for today. So I was just warming up. Dennis, now before you go, I have an announcement to make regarding the school dance competition. Dance competition? Blech. This year, Athena's father, Mr. Uh, Rat Bucket Kane, has kindly donated an award. Oh, Rat Bucket! Oh, hail the King of Rock bass players! And as well as helping me judge the contest, Athena will be presenting the prize to the winner. I will win. It's my destiny. Please tell me that's a joke. I can dance. Well, if you can dance, Pie Face, you must know these moves. And you've got to know this one. It's the latest thing. Oh, yeah. But, well, I... Uh... <laughs> Him! Dance! I don't think so. <laughs> Dancing is about graceful movement, elegance and finesse. If Pie Face won, I'd... I'd eat my socks. <laughs> <laughs> A sock swallowing Walter. Now that I've got to see. <laughs> Well, you better bring your knife and fork to the dance then, cos Pie Face is going to win. And you know why? Do tell. Because he's got the best dance teachers on the planet. <laughs> really? And who would they be? Me and Nasha. All right, Pie Face, we'd better go back to basics. Anything done. As long as I get to win, I mean, backstage passes for a rap bucket concert. Wow. Hey, if I'd known that was a prize, I'd have gone in for it myself. But meanwhile, we've got to make sure you win. Yeah. Well, I reckon I should do... I the... know. Disco. I'll add Dennis and Nasha. Some heavy rock. <laughs> right, Pie Face. There's three dances you could do. What do you think? Oh, great. Now what are we gonna do? <laughs> Good idea, Nasha. We'll check out the opposition. Attention, dancers! At the sound of the music. Dance! Lift, right, lift, right. You there, keep it up. But, but these metal tip shoes are so heavy, sir. Never mind the shoes. What's our motto? The harder, the harder we, we work, work our feet, the harder we'll be to beat. beat. Uh-oh. The Colonel's got Walter and his pals dancing like a well-drilled platoon. Pie Face is going to have his work cut out to beat them. This new flea magnetizer will do the trick, Nasher. All we have to do is give the fleas a puff of magno dust <laughs> and then turn on the magnetizer. <laughs> Victory! It's starting to work. Cool! Let's pump up the power. Uh, no, Dennis. <laughs> oh, too much power! Maybe it's time to wake Pie Face for his next lesson? Dennis! <laughs> right, Pie Face. Which dance, then? The dance I want to do. My granddad taught it me when I was a kid. Oh, OK. What is it, then? The dance of the seven pies. The what? Oh, I'll show you. Give me some music, Curly. <laughs> Right. 
warrant. Cool. That's good enough for me. <coughs> Roll on the dance contest. Something tells me Pie Face is going to need a little extra help. <laughs> My boys are fighting fit, Mrs. Creature. They'll beat anything the enemy can throw at them. Well, we'll find out very shortly, Colonel. The dance contest is about to begin. Now to give Pie Face a little extra help. I'll just give Walter and his pals dancing shoes a blast of magno dust. <laughs> So they respond to Dad's magnetizer. And Pie Face will be all set to win. Where have you been? I thought you'd gone home. What? I missed my star pupil picking up his prize. Don't worry, Pie Face. You and me are going to be front row at the Rat Bucket gig. And now to our first contestants. Let's hear a big hand for Walter, Bertie, and Dudley. <laughs> uh oh, they look like they know what they're doing. Like I say, Pie Face, don't worry about a thing. Shoulders back, keep a stiff upper lip, and dance. <laughs> What's wrong with you, chaps? Dance. Dance! That's an order! We can't! Our feet are stuck! <laughs> Not for long! Two steps aren't part of our routine! Neither are these! Whoa. 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 Come on! Real training! Harder will be to be! That wasn't supposed to happen. Thank you, Walter, Bertie and Dudley. That will certainly take some beating for originality. Oh, great. Right, Nasha. <laughs> this automatic flea-seeking comb will definitely do the trick. And as soon as we're done, you can go and see Dennis at the school dance contest. Right. Lock and load. Those fleas are doomed. Oh, oh, Asher! Oh, oh, Asher! Oh, come back! And now, for the final contestant tonight, it's Pie Face with the Dance of the Seven Pies! We're going to need a miracle to win now! <laughs> Asher! <laughs> <laughs> No fleas detected. Subject clear. Well done, Nasha! It looks like you and Dad finally beat the fleas after all. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> wow! What kind of dance is that? That? Oh, that's uh, the flea. The flea? Yeah, it's the latest thing. You must have heard of it. It's in all the magazines. Oh, yeah, right, the flea. I do it all the time. It's cool. That's it. You've got it. Come on, everybody, join in. Let's all do the flea. <sighs> well, after that amazingly inspiring display, I'm sure we're all agreed that there can only be one winner of this year's dance contest. I'm happy to present first prize. Four VIP backstage passes to the Rat Bucket concert to... Here are our dancing shoes, Colonel. We won't be needing them anymore. Better take your socks off too, Walter. Be tasty with a little ketchup. <laughs> oh dear. Concert? It can't be sold out! 
Not anymore! <laughs> It's sold out. You let them in? But it was sold out, then it wasn't, now it is again. OK. Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook fuzzy rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after-show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25-string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. <laughs> Out! And don't come back! OK, not a tunnel, but, uh... Hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere? Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins... Parky's on to us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. It pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you've got two, who's the other one for? Miss Minnie Wolf, of course. Because she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle part. <coughs> anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <coughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people, and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> wow! So this is backstage. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face! Leave the food alone! To keep my strength up, Dan. <laughs> You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Ooh, he looks like someone important. <laughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, uh, hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! No, 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 darling. It's not polite. <laughs> oh, my tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That. You made it. Whoa, like the new hair. Quick, Nasher, take these! <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure, I'll sign this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, thank you. Now I need to go to my dressing room to, uh, dress. Wow! This is the real thing! Just... 
Just a minute. <laughs> the crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, more pies would be good. <laughs> oh, we haven't got time for pies, Pie Face. we got to get out of here. Hi. Hmm? I'm hungry. I need you to buy me some caviar. <laughs> That's not very polite. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money. Aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Athena have <laughs> some money? Please? <laughs> so... That's a no, then, is it? But you always give me money. <laughs> <gasps> You're not my dad. You're an imposter. Security! Quick, now's our chance. <laughs> You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter, Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> Real rat bucket. <laughs> I spotted you a mile off, mate. <laughs> You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're going to have to do a solo gig. Rat bucket! Rat bucket! Rat bucket! What? What? Oh no! Oh no! Rat Bucket's not gonna play! Not gonna play! What? Oh! Mr. Rat Bucket, sir, just caught the imposter. Of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mr. Ratbucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what. If you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. Oh, there you go, Mr. Ratbucket, sir. He's even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums, uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish. But we're really loud. Hang on, not very good. Can't sing. Really loud. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! 